What's up YouTube? You checking out the Frequent Flyer and this is my quick review of the JJRC JJ830. And this quad was a disappointment for me. I really thought that this quad was going to be a fast quad being as though it looks like a Hubson or a V252. It has that uh, design uh, language and those quads, if you know of those quads, are really fast quads. They have deep pitch. Um, they're the high performance quadcopters. This quadcopter here is not a high performance quadcopter at all. This is more of a beginner's quad. Now, it's not a bad quadcopter by any means. It's it's a nice quadcopter, an uh, entry level quadcopter though. Um, it's I I would say this is for beginners to maybe intermediate flyers but I don't think intermediate flyers would uh, really like this um, just because of the fact that it's just so slow this thing um, doesn't have a deep pitch at all uh, it's to the point where when you try to bank turns and do if, if you try to do a funnel turn it's going to end up a sliding turn uh, this thing just lacks any sort of a uh, good pitch it's uh it comes with a, a prop guard um i don't i've misplaced the prop guard uh right now uh i'll probably it'll probably be, uh, be around if i do a full review of this but uh the prop guard uh really doesn't affect performance that much because the thing doesn't fly fast anyway so it doesn't have a lot of pitch anyway so when you have the prop guard on it it flies just about the same as it does without the only thing different the only thing different is the flips the flips on this quadcopter it seems to compensate for uh the prop prop guard the weight of the prop guard so the flips are nice with the prop guard on but without the prop guard it tends to elevate a little too much um which makes me think that they, uh, the programming was taken to a, taken into account that the prop guard was going to be on. Like it's not really intended to be removed, uh, but it is removable, um, and it just climbs a lot uh, indoors when you're uh, doing flips. And this is not an outdoor quadcopter, in my opinion. Uh, the wind blow is very. Uh, it, it's not wind resistant at all. The wind will blow this thing around because it because of it not having a deep pitch. The pitch is so shallow that the wind can uh, control it and affect your uh, flight. You you won't be able to control it uh, with a light wind blowing at it. It can't fight the wind to come back to you. So uh, pretty much an indoor quad, or you can fly it on a, a very nice day with. Uh, zero wind <laughs> outdoors uh, you'll probably be able to fly it it has really nice LEDs though the LEDs aren't are in the arms here and you would think that that might be a flaw because uh, the Hubson had has that problem it has the uh, LEDs up here and some in some angles you can't see the LEDs but uh, this quadcopter has LEDs on the uh, tips of the motor pods and it has has uh, LEDs in the eyes and it has LEDs in the body, the back uh, battery bay, so uh, you can still see you can still uh, see your orientation really good. I think uh, other uh, companies should uh, implement that design in their quadcopters, um, having uh, more than one set of LEDs, and that I think that really helps uh, with orientation with night. So you can, this thing is definitely a night flyer if you can uh, find a day with zero wind where it's not going to get blown around. It'll it'll uh, look really nice at, at night. Um, it uh, deviates from the design language of the uh, V252 and the Hubson by putting these uh, soft foam type of uh, landing gear on the bottom. Uh, the whole the bottom is all one piece so there's no sections to the to the bottom it's just one piece there and uh 
yeah, it comes with a 250 milliamp hour battery. And this transmitter here, a mid-size transmitter, uh, not really a nano transmitter and not a full-size transmitter. It's a mid-size and it has uh, shoulder buttons there, nice buttons. It's uh, just like the, uh, the transmitter from the Chairson CX-12. So it, it looks exactly the same. Actually, this protocol is almost the same too, except for some of the channels are reversed. So you cannot fly the Chairson CX-12 with this transmitter because some of the channels are reversed. Uh, I can't remember if it's Aileron and uh, Yaw, the rudder, but uh, it's one of them at least. And so um, this thing is a, a pretty decent indoor flyer, uh, but you're not going to have much luck with it outdoors. Uh, so that's the JJRC JJ830. Thanks for watching.